The Indian Army chief felicitated and complimented the Army team for winning a gold medal by competing against 111 teams in the prestigious Cambrian Patrol 2023 in United Kingdom. India and Russia held the 21st meeting of the India-Russia Working Group on Military Technical Cooperation and Defence Industry, and they discussed delivery of remaining S-400 system, and the issue of spare parts and maintenance of Russian origin equipments. Maldives president has started negotiations with Indian government to remove Indian military personnel from the island, that help maintain Indian sponsored radar stations helicopters and surveillance aircraft. Suryadip 2 Projects Private Limited has launched the third ammunition cum torpedo cum missile barge, that will facilitate embarkation and disembarkation of ammunition to Indian Navy warships. The expansion project at the Nyomu Advanced Landing Ground situated in eastern Ladakh has started, that includes extension of the runway to accommodate fighter jets. Larsen and Tubro has expressed interest in absorbing technology of Israel's small satellite launch vehicle, as it anticipates a surging demand for low Earth orbit and smaller satellites. India has delivered the letter of request to the French government for the procurement of 26 Rafale Marine fighter jets for the Indian Navy under a government-to-government -government deal, and now the French government will decide on the Indian request and respond very soon, to ensure that the acquisition contract is signed at the earliest. The letter of request is like a tender document, in which the Indian government has specified all its requirements and capabilities that it would want to have in the Rafale Marine aircraft and the integration of its indigenous Astra air-to-air -air missiles as part of the weapons package from France. The Eurofighter had lost the contract bid to the Rafale in the previous MMRCA tender due to pricing, and once again, the Eurofighter is finding itself at a disadvantage in the early stages of the MRFA tender, as the German government has adopted a strict stance on arms exports, which could affect its chances in the tender. The German government had denied the sale of small arms to Indian paramilitary forces, and officials are skeptical about the German government's potential interference in the usage of the Eurofighter, or imposing stringent service conditions, and India is not inclined to entertain such supplier restrictions. Bharat Electronics Limited is forging partnerships with the private sector to develop cutting-edge low-light image sensors that will be tailored for the next generation of armored vehicles. The complementary metal oxide semiconductor sensors will significantly enhance the imaging capabilities of armored vehicles that will enable detection and, and identification of targets from long ranges at day and night in all weather conditions and drastically fluctuating temperatures. India is setting up a surveillance system with drones across its borders, to wade off any surprise attacks by adversaries. Defence officials have met with six Indian vendors over the past week, and an order is expected to be announced next month, and it will be operational by May 2024. It will take almost 18 months to have the system cover the entire stretch of borders, and could cost as much as $500 million annually. Hindustan Aeronautics is on the lookout for a qualified engineering service provider, to collaborate on the structural design and analysis of the airframe of Indian multi-role helicopter, including the design of both metallic and composite components. Hal and Safran will start joint development of the engine for the Indian multi-role helicopter from next month at its Tumkuru facility, and the engine will be ready for production in 2027. Today's top 3 comments.